Hi, everyone. We are live and on air with this week's Kickoff Labs marketing chat. My name is Josh Ledgard. I am the co-founder of Kickoff Labs. Uh, with me today is uh, Izzy Palmerin. He works in marketing at Kickoff Labs. So Izzy, you want to say hi? Sure. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. And uh, as always, we're looking forward to, to review your pages and to, and to provide the best feedback for your campaigns and for your landing pages. So looking forward to this as always. All right, and before we get into it today, um, and we're going to be reviewing a lot of landing pages, I wanted to cover a couple of things uh, for people that are new. Uh, one, there is a there is a chat on the uh, on the viewing page. So if you are here, sign into the chat, uh, say hi. We might do a shout out. If you've submitted a page for review, uh, we do love to review the pages of people that are attending the chat. Um, it makes it more interactive. We get a chance to ask and answer some questions. Uh, for the people there. And um, we've already seen people posting their pages, getting feedback from other guests on the chat. So um, that's always great to see. It's good to get another set of eyes or another group of eyes on your pages. And so by all means, I, I encourage you to post uh, an introduction to yourself, to your business, to your landing page um, into the chat. It's a great resource um, and you should get some additional feedback from doing so. And like I said, we do like to review pages of people that have been here. We uh, have more pages than we'll have time to get to uh, that were submitted. So uh, the way we choose to prioritize it is simply the people that are here and made the time for us and we will make the time for you guys. So um, I appreciate you guys attending uh, and taking the time here. Um, Thing number two, uh, these marketing chats, if you didn't know, are sponsored by Kickoff Labs. Uh, so we help you make a smarter, more viral uh, campaign. Uh, and that means a campaign that has uh, landing pages, includes email marketing, autoresponders, um, and gets you an additional 35% signups generally compared to just putting up a landing page with another uh, with another product that you could do. You can get landing pages anywhere. Our goal is to give you guys uh, a better overall campaign experience that really drives up your conversion rate. So um, that being said, if you haven't checked out Kickoff Labs, go to kickofflabs.com after this chat and, uh, and give us a try for your landing pages. Um, and we'll be showing off, I think, some of the features today when we look at uh, we look at people's landing pages uh, for review. Um, I'm going to start the uh, the chat today. I think somebody posted. Let's see. Um, Clay Nicholas asked for a review of MoreSpeech.com. So I will go here first uh, and give me a second. I'll share the screen uh, with everyone so you can see what I am seeing. Uh, <laughs> All right, so everybody should be seeing this uh, more speech, uh, more speech landing page. Um, this is one of those pages where uh, I feel like there's a lot going on in a small amount of, sp amount of space, and that a little bit more spacing would really help out the landing page. Like I feel like you're really trying to condense it into a postage car post postcard, um, but you've got this whole browser window here and, and there's all this space down here, a little bit more space and a little bit better spacing would look a lot more, uh, a lot more professional. So uh, a couple of other things to note about the page, I would flip the layout so people don't see the face first here. I would put him over on this side and hopefully you can see me kind of dragging the ghost of the image and I would left align all of this text here um, and this text here on the side. And that, that bit of alignment, making it a little bit cleaner, will really help the look of the page. Because right now, if you look at the alignment on the page, this is centered, this is weirdly off-centered, this is to the right, and then this text down here is all centered. Um, so if you're not gonna center everything, and it's fine to have a section that's centered um, kind of in the header and the footer, what you should probably do is focus on left aligning. So I would take this image, put it over here uh, with the logo that'll give you some more breathing room in the top, then take this text and just left align it over so it starts over here, take the button, left align over here, take this, left align it uh, over here as well. Um, and I think it'll look, I think it'll look a lot cleaner uh, on the page. And, and the reason that I advocate for cleaner looking, simpler landing pages is it's a factor of, of trust. Like when you people see things, 
subconsciously, you're always evaluating it for whether or not you can trust a person, whether you can trust a resource, whether you can trust something. And one of the subtle things that kicks in is that is that look of the, the page. And if it doesn't feel trustworthy, then people will instantly run. We're, we're, we're just pre-wired, pre-conditioned uh, to, to do that. And, and, this, and landing page is no different than, uh, than anything else. Um, in general, for the rest of it, I really do like the, the headline. Um, says speech and language recovery, uh, a fun and effective web app to help stroke and brain uh, brain injury survivors. Um, the thing that's missing to me this this headline uh, is this main text, speech and language recovery. Um, I, I don't quite know. It's hard to tell. Like if you're going to be offering me with if I just read this headline, the bold headline that stands out, and this bold headline. I would get that you're doing something about speech and language recovery and it's trusted by hospitals. For some reason, the italic text doesn't stand out as much for me, so I feel like the headline is missing something in it to say, um, you know, get, you know, improve speech and language, you know, with, uh, with, with our solution. Like something that advocates you are a web app, you have a solution uh, that's, that's here uh, with your web app. Uh, to do it. So, you know, an app to help with speech and language recovery or speech and language recovery made easy. Just something that shows that you're doing it, not just like a what. Like this is just a thing. Like this text is just a thing, but it's sort of missing the what it is to the person um, in that text. Um, now you've got this start now free text and this view demo. I feel like this view demo link is just a little large. Like this could be a little bit smaller. Uh, the view demo link, and so what happens if I click here? Uh, okay, it, it opens in a, a browser, that's great, and an extra window, that's great, so it doesn't take people away from the page. Uh, and if I click start now, let's see what happens. Okay, so this took a really long time to load this one page here. Um, and for people that have multi-step pages, and what I mean by that is you've got this button, and then you're taking somebody to the next page, um, my first question to you is, why in the world, if you're just asking for an email address, why in the world don't you just ask for the email address on this page? You'll greatly improve the conversion rate, especially when you've got so much time between this and the next page. Um, and the second thing is, you know, this page shouldn't take this long to load. I mean, really, you're just, you have this text and you've got an email box. But if you do have a se separate page, Imagine that each page is a step in an assembly line process, and this page is not doing its job in the assembly line. Because you're, you're basically say, like if somebody came here on their own and they didn't have any context about the page before, would they sign up? And you're not really giving them additional reason to sign up. It just says create a free account for morespeech.com. How about something like start your, you know, you know, start improving your speech recovery or just something that gives them a little bit more of that, that you know, introduction like like this that carries on the flavor of the text and the benefit and shows them the benefit on this page because I feel like you're missing showing the benefit on this page for people um, to really encourage them to sign up and I'll bet you could just uh, spending some more time with this page and the copy on this page just re-explaining why they should do it re-explaining what they're signing up for um, I'll bet you dramatically improve um, the conversion rate or the, your overall funnel of people that click through and then people that actually start creating an account. Um, and again, so uh, you know, this might be this space over here might be another place to have, you know, see the demo of what you're signing up for. Instead of just saying use the demo, you could say watch the video or just have the video below um, the space on this page where people could actually see it. Um, all right, uh, that's what I've got for this page. Uh, Izzy, do you, uh, do you uh, want to move on to the, uh, the Nokia, Nokia page? Sure, let's go ahead and move on to Nokia, and then right afterwards we'll move on to the odorless denim guys. Actually, actually which one did uh, I see? Well, to the routine. <laughs> well, let's do odorless denim. You do odorless denim. So yeah. I'm going to do odorless denim. Yep. Okay, so we're taking a look at uh, prelaunch.odorlessdenim.com. And uh, with the forward slash one, so this might be an, an, an A-B test of a page. But um, overall, I like the page uh, images with, with, with any kind of, uh, of, of faces inside of them, with, with a person inside of them. Uh, they tend to work well. However, this image kind of throws me off because usually they, they tend to work well whenever uh, 
whenever the person in the image is actually directing their attention towards a call to action. In this case, the person in in the image is is looking directly at me, and it kind of it it, it kind of just looks like a like a standard ad, like a standard image, like. I think that there's more that 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 you could do with the image, if if you know if you have the model available, if you guys could do another photo shoot, or if you have another image with, with the actual model looking towards a certain call to action, whether it's looking down, whether it's looking towards um, towards your world's first odorless denim, which which I don't know why is trademark. Well, I mean it's it's, it's probably trademark because it's your company name, but uh, I. I like the actual image. However, I think that that's using another highly optimized image can actually drive people towards taking a certain action on the page. Because, because really, I mean, image really, really powerful, especially when it's a person uh, on the image. And um, right after this, this, um, this review, I'll go ahead and post uh, to a blog post that we have um, that that basically kind of talks about how powerful uh, images can be, whether it's a background image or a foreground image in this case. So um, I like it, but it can be definitely optimized. So this is odorless denim, which never stinks and never stains, which is actually a, an awesome concept, actually. I, I was commenting to, to Josh behind the scenes. They don't, their, their denim, supposedly it's not washed. So I'm kind of glad that this kind of, you know, this company comes out of the, Comes out of the woodwork. So very cool. Infused with silver and is coming soon. This really doesn't tell me too much about your actual product. I mean, infused with with silver, what does that tell me? What like is it actual silver in inside of your pants? Uh I would like some kind of just just a little bit more of a more of a description or or at least like educate me as to what infused with with silver actually means. So I'm I'm gonna sign up and I'm gonna see if if it if it tells me in the next uh in in the thank you page before you or, sign up i mean before yeah, you sign up i, I mean there's a, yeah. there's a couple comments that i still have Josh, oh know. okay okay yeah i was i'll let you sign up first and then i'll get back to you to the other comments all righty okay so uh and then next up so we have infused with silver which kind of throws me off then it's and and unless your customers are coming to the page educated about about your actual brand about what infused um about what infused with silver actually is then you're not going to have a problem but if you're getting cold people, just just driving people, whether that's from from blogs, you know, from from blog traffic or from from influencers or from social media for ads, uh, a lot of those people are going to be arriving page, on, uh, you know, cold on the page, and they're saying yes, it's it's actual silver. Well, tell people, I mean, tell people that it's actual silver, because um, this kind of looks like a fancy design, like like your silver, um, like the font, it just looks like a. You know, like it's some kind of addition, but it's not clear that it's silver. And then moving on, uh, it, it is coming soon. That's not a really great incentive for people to actually sign up. I mean, it, it's cool that 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 your company is about to launch, that you're coming soon. But but what's what's the reason that people should actually sign up on the page? Um, because the only actual real incentive is is actually being the first to know, which is which is a, again not a great incentive for for me to sign up now and for me to sign and, and and for me to share with my friends which which is actually part of 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 Kickoff Labs viral system which gets people sharing and getting you 35% more leads however it works a lot better when you provide a great incentive on the page and uh for for commuters denim heads and you what why are you throwing in for commuters what like are they je jeans meant for sitting like Tell me why? Why are they commuter jeans? Why are I mean I I know that they're for denim heads and for me why why are they for me? So a little bit more of explanation of your product, a little bit more, um, you know, just just educating your your audience once they're actually arriving on a page cold, and this image is okay. I would love to see this this image a little bit larger because because the actual image itself is 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 really small. Uh, if if you have some some issues making this image a little bit larger, just let us know. We can help you out because actually it, it should be really easy to do. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead go ahead and sign up on the page. Josh, you have any feedback on this main page? Josh seems to be muted. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, my my only thing is that um, this text right here, the never stinks, never stains, this infused with, and this for commuters, um, just a especially this never sinks, never stains, like it seems like this is a core value proposition, but because it's this darker red on top of a dark blue, 
Um, I actually feel like it, the red's not doing its job. Like this text either needs to be larger or pure white. It just, it needs to stand out a little bit more. Like could it be the full width of this logo, but a smaller, smaller font? Cause you made this as an image. So can you make this, this never stinks, never stains like a little bit larger, takes up a little bit more space below your trademark. Um, because I feel like your core value proposition of the product is a little bit buried because you skip over it. Like if your eyes go and, and they read, you'll read the first thing, world's first, odorless denim, silver, right? And that's kind of what I see in my eyes. And you want to make it so your eyes, you know, you can say this infused with silver, but I think your more important value proposition is the never stinks, never stains um, part. And that's what, um, and, and that's what you should really highlight. And I feel like it's kind of buried on this page. Um, uh, other than that, I agree with everything that, that Izzy said, and um, I look forward to seeing what happens when he signs up. Let's see what happens. And uh, the odorless denim team is actually saying that, yes, basically, they are jeans for, for cyclists. Well, say it on the page. I mean, say, say that it's for cyclists. Make it exactly. I mean, you want to use very, very basic, uh, plain, plain text. I mean, make sure that people can understand exactly what 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 message you're actually trying to get across because if you're saying four commuters and then you tell us in, in the chat well basically it's for cyclists <laughs> say it's for cyclists or or i mean really what i would do i, I would actually create a, a different landing page for cyclists and then a different landing page for, for denim heads and actually draw you know create different ads or or just drive that different traffic to those uh, segmented uh, landing pages. That's which, a great point. You could absolutely really have a, a, a core landing page, and then you could have a you could have a set of segmented landing pages um, that you where you do specific ads, you post in specific cycling communities, and you target the tech, the copy towards those people. I mean, it's really a great example of why you would want more than one landing page. Cool, great. Okay, so let's sign up and uh, call on that great step in. Uh, make sure it's actually related to 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 denim. You know, uh, get get your denim now or just something that's actually uh, more related to your brand. So let's step in, shall we? Now my connection is just a tad slow today. Here we go. Okay, so uh, invite friends and earn amazing rewards. I think that the background image doesn't really work very well. You might want to switch this background image with another maybe product shot because uh, the text is actually overlapping the guy's uh, face and 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 all of the actual product invite friends and earn amazing rewards what kind of rewards i would love to see what kind of rewards are available uh people are actually they have down, but you never know i mean people might might be lazy and I actually scroll down tell them you know tell them and 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 earn um free merchandise or or earn free store credit you know your premium cotton shirt or loose denim shirt so you have some great rewards. I mean, really, really great, great rewards. And you're not mentioning any of this on the main sign-up page. You know, yeah, the, no the main headline should absolutely tease those rewards. I mean, those are amazing rewards that you're going to give people. And yeah. you're just sort of, you're saying, oh, it's amazing rewards. But should I believe you unless I actually, unless I actually, unless I actually see it in the headline? So, you know, telling people invite friends and earn free jeans or invite friends and earn, you know, and, and earn, you know, store credit, like the, you know, the, the, basically like be really specific up here and, and call out and tease your most amazing reward, which you've got some great stuff, but people need to know that they should be looking for it. Um, in, in that. Okay. Is he gone? Yeah. So, well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a great page. I think this came, this campaign has a lot of potential and yeah, I mean, optimize it, bring your page back to us in two weeks. We'd love to see it. All right. I'm going to go to, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this correct, correctly, but uh, Nakio, uh, we're turning traditional fashion on its head, literally, well, not literally, but sort of, um, watch our story. Um, so that, that was what I saw first. I mean, just so you know, like I, 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 scanned, I scanned the page, and kind of the first things I saw is the, this logo, which is fine. Um, the text is very readable. You did a great job selecting a darker background, so the text is actually very readable on the page. Um, this viewing the image video uh, looks really clean here, and I'm I'm really uh, I'm really drawn to that because it's got the largest, probably the largest font on the page with this cover image here. So this watch our story font is extremely huge. So I imagine you get a lot of people to press play on the video. Um, the video, however, if you look at this, and it's hard to see on this the share is five minutes long. 
Um, I don't know if you, uh, if you start look if you look at online video statistics, um, especially those on landing pages where it's kind of like a cold sale, um, things just drop off dramatically. Your viewership drops off dramatically after the first 30 seconds, after the first minute, after the first two minutes. I would do no longer than two minutes um, on this video. So, uh, you know, if you have to take this back to the editing room and, and do a hacksaw uh, to it, uh, I would try and do a, a much shorter version because you're trying to make this such a key part of your page here, the video telling the story. Um, but if people drop out because they're, they're bored or they're not gonna watch the whole thing, they won't stay tuned um, to sign up over here. Um, something I might consider, we can help you if you don't, uh, if, if you don't know how to do this within the product, is uh, switching the, the, the call to action. I feel like because of the large font and the video that's on the page, the call to action is a little bit buried. And so I wonder if it wouldn't help to A, have this section swapped on the left side of the page and also to have a headline above this section. So instead of saying, this isn't really a headline, it says we're launching soon, be the first to know we launch. Um, and, and I'm gonna give my speech here <laughs> that I people all the time about this. Um, but first of all, the, the headline here um, should be a reason to sign up and it should be a larger headline, uh, something that grabs people's attention because right now this doesn't, it's just kind of buried on the page. And second of all, this is both a bad incentive and a bad strategy uh, for a launch. And so uh, when you say we're launching soon, be the first to know we launch, A, you say we're launching soon, that sort of tells people there's nothing, no reason to, to look at this. So I would absolutely not say that. Be the first to we launch is a bad strategy because you're saying, um, basically, if, if I read your strategy right, I'm gonna sign up. Um, one, two, three, six months go by and you're gonna send me a, an email and let me know when it's ready. It's just a bad launch strategy. And so if you're thinking through your launch strategy, and this is just general advice for anybody launching a store, you're thinking through your launch strategy, think about it more as a several week campaign. Um, and so your launch strategy shouldn't just be to wait, get 3,000 people on a list and then cold email them when they've forgotten about you six months later. Um, it should be to build excitement and anticipation. They should be hearing from you along the way. You should be involving them in the product, uh, in, in, in the building of the product. You should send out bits and pieces of this video every week. So if you chop it up and you want to tell more of your story, be telling the story over the three, six, you know, two weeks, you know, the, the time you've got between now and the launch, use that time to, when people sign up, be telling them the story along the way and encouraging them to share with their friends. And so that's why I say like, don't say we're just never gonna email you until we launch. It, they're signing up, you should be telling them the story and thinking about it as a campaign the entire way, the, the entire way along, along the way. Um, so let me sign up and see what happens. I've said all this, and I haven't even talked about uh, I haven't talked about the, the 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 copy. It's really hard for me to know what you're doing. When you say we're turning traditional fashion on its head, um, you're trying to make the video speak for your copy, um, and you may have a fantastic video, but more well, well over you know sixty percent of the people that come to the page are not going to watch the video, no matter how prominent you make it. This copy, you're kind of wasting space here at the subheadline. Literally, well, not literally, but sort of. Um, should be used a little bit smaller font and it should be used to you know, give that elevator pitch of what it is. So if somebody doesn't wanna watch the video but they wanna know in two seconds what you guys are really doing uh, besides this tagline of turning traditional fashion on its head, um, that should say it and it should give them a reason why they should stay interested here and this, the copy is just not doing its job there. Um, so now let's see what happens when I click here. Okay, so you've really thought through this, this campaign. I love the, the image on the top where you've got space for the copy. Again, you really thought through the, the making the text readable on, on the page, so I, I appreciate that. It's not often people think through having a darker image, making sure the copy is all extremely readable. Um, and then, let's see, invite friends to the top leaderboard, win an Nokia bucket bag. Okay, so you're doing something with bags. Why isn't that anywhere on this page? Um, other than this like image of this woman with a bag over her head. Um, this should be like featured on the, the, the homepage, like what you're doing here in, in this location. Um, so then the, uh, the other thing uh, to, let's see, invite friends to top the leaderboard to win, win a bucket bag. Okay, that's great. So you're gonna have a leaderboard to win, make your way to rank one by sharing. Okay, it's extremely clear. Um, and let's say, 
The only thing I, I could think about is maybe this copy here and above the leaderboard could even emphasize this again, sort of repeat it. So use these sharing links to win. Here are the current here is the current leaders, or here is the current leader. So thinking about it that way, like really, you know, it's okay to double down on some copy and when it's really important and you want people to do it. In this case, it's in a different section on the page. Uh, you've you said it here by sharing your personalized link in small print. Um, I would just be really clear and say share with your personalized links, um, and then this will you know, get you higher on the leaderboard. And then current leaderboard, the winner gets a bag, right? I mean, just double down on that copy on on this uh, on this thank you page. Uh, Izzy, do you have any other any other comments about this? Uh, well, no direct comments. Actually, I'm looking at the wrong page. Uh, you pretty much nailed it. I mean, you you nailed the actual design, and it's funny that 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 here actually I. I started laughing loudly because, because yeah, I mean, there's no mention about about any bags on the page except for the lady with the bag over her head and the background image, which is kind of hard hard to actually see. But uh, but you provide some great feedback as always, Josh. Yes, I would. No kill. Take Josh's feedback. Improve your conversion rate. Do it. All right, Izzy. Uh, it looks like uh, Tracy running an A/B test on uh, Pumeli, uh, a monthly subscription box focused on relaxation. Um, she's looking forward to your feedback. Great. Okay, so we're looking at uh, prelaunch.pumli.com, and yes, I'm seeing that she's running an, an A-B test here, um, and I'm looking at both pages. I just want to make sure that, that her A-B test is set up correctly, because it seems as if both pages have the same content. Just let me reload those pages really quick. Yes, so I'm looking at, at both her, so this is the, the A page, and this is the A-B well, well, I'm sorry, and this is the B page. Seems as if none of the content is actually changing. So you might want to double check your, your A-B test. Make sure that, that you've published your, your new changes um, to your B page or, or you know, to the variation page. But um, so let's go ahead and just focus on this page. So, OK, I'm seeing here that there's a pop-up box. You know, there's an exit intent, which is called our kickoff class up. Um, but it seemed to pop up automatically. Uh, I, I would love to to, to actually see this uh, triggered in its in its natural state, where where you know where you're hovering out of the actual browser, and and instead of popping up automatically, uh, it'll it'll pop up only if I try to to actually close this window. Because as I mentioned, it seems as if it's popping up automatically. Yeah, and it's I think it's okay to have something pop up automatically. I just think it popped up a little bit too soon. Like maybe we need a longer yeah, right. a longer interval before it pops up because neither you or I really had time to read the page before it said before you go. Um, and I would I would really consider that. So making it uh, wait a little longer or just come it happening when somebody tries to exit the page. Okay, and she shared the B page. So just let's quickly open that up just so we have that comparison. Okay, yeah, so it's a huge, huge uh, difference. We'll, we'll probably only have uh, enough time to look in depth at one of them. So it um, seems as if the B page is, is probably the one that you're working on the most at this time. Um, so let's just focus on the B page. So Pumali, it's a big logo at the top, kind of pushes everything a little bit down towards the bottom. It would be cool to actually uh, see, I mean, I would love to see like like the image where it actually starts kind of like this, where it's where it's your your background image and uh, and your logo within the actual image. I think that actually, that can work a little bit better to actually to not push your content so far down, which is actually pushing your form down. And uh, I would love to see the, the the call to action, what's called above the fold, which is right right before uh, my actual browser uh, window closes off here. So right now, your button is below the fold. I would love to see it right there, just above the fold. Um, give give yourself permission to relax. Okay, so what what is this? I mean, it kind of looks like a little gift box. Uh, I can tell from the actual um, from the actual URL that it's a subscription box, but nowhere on the page does it really say that it's a subscription box until I get to this little text here. So it's like a new subscription service. Okay, I, 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 get... I had the same thought. Her A page, if you look at it here, is really mm -hmm. clear. It says monthly delivery of uh, of things to help you relax. Basically. If you could say that in a few less That's words, awesome. yeah. I would put that on that B page. And the B page that was uh, that was there. Um, uh, let's see, go back to your page here. Let's see, mm -hmm. um, share the B page. There we go. 
I really liked the uh, I really liked the give yourself permission to relax as a headline to this call to action. Instead of saying sign up for free, I sort of liked this text because it was really related to be either the button text or this text because I think that really spoke to people except that you weren't describing your service other than this little tiny box print here. So I think a little bit more description up here and use this copy because I think it's great copy, but use it for either the headline of the form or the, the button text in the form here uh, to play with the brand a bit. Yeah, because uh, Josh does have a great point. This is a beautiful, beautiful sub headline here. Monthly delivery of simple time slowing rituals with things that you can, I mean, with things you can feel smell and hold in your hands which is all about the experience which is which which people love i mean people really do love and you're saying here permission to relax but i i do love this actual give yourself permission to to relax and yeah i mean remove this sign up for free now because pe people want to you know people want to indulge themselves and 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 engulf themselves in the entire experience so if you're providing that for them with with all the copy and you're guiding them towards you uh, towards the actual call to action with hey okay you know so you get all this all this good stuff and now it's time for you to give yourself permission to relax so love it love it so i need me time see this is a beautiful beautiful call to action so i love it as well and let's see if you kind of talk about a little bit more about your your service do you need a little bit me time okay so it's a subscription service so we're taking a look at the copy now the public subscription box provides you with see i mean this is this is basically like repeated that it's that you're a subscription box, okay, and this is, again, this is once again repeated. So I would cut cut this copy, uh, place, place uh, you know, the monthly subscription, which, which I prefer this one, the monthly delivery of Simple, place that here at the top, uh, move this section here towards the sign up for free now. Um, so, you, so you're getting rid of this completely. And um, every month you'll get, okay, so you, Telling people what they're going to get. I would love to see an, an, a, a, like another image here uh, below this. Like I feel that that the top is just like very very beautiful. You see what what you're actually getting, but then you scroll down and it, and it just seems to be like like part of that beauty is actually lost. I would love to see just just another image of the artisanal tea of the beautiful paper of of the actual products that people would be getting. If it's possible, that would be cool. Uh, the premiere box is coming very soon. This 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 copy is just unnecessary. You you, you know you really kind of want to avoid telling people that you're coming very soon, because that's that's you know that's about your company. People want to know what's in it for them, so just just tell them you know uh, sign up now and and your box will be on and your premiere box will be on the way you know will be on your way to you soon. Something like that. You want to tell them you, you want to direct the copy towards the actual visitor of the page. Nothing that that's that's like we bait like we focused or 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 talking about your company. So enter your email now to get sneak peeks. This this really doesn't apply here because the actual call to action is just so far above the actual form well uh, actually from the actual text. So you, I would actually just cut that uh, out as well. Enter your email address. Just make sure that that it's very very clear that people should be signing up here. I mean, the call to action really is 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 very obvious, anyways. So, um, P.S. Don't forget for your chance to share the news. Okay, and I would also cut this as well, like the share buttons. Mm, well, I mean, these aren't really distracting, but but you're telling people don't forget to share. You want to tell people don't forget to share in the next step. Uh, because right now they haven't actually signed up yet. So so you don't want to tell people, like you don't want to give people additional instructions until they've actually taken that additional step. And uh, drink your tea slowly and reverently. Because what's what's going to do, so you're going to be cutting out, out some of this copy and it's going to push up your testimonial a little bit up. And um, yeah, I think it'll really improve the page. So let me sign up. Let's see what looks what your next page looks like. I'm very curious. Oh, okay. Actually, I clicked it twice. All right. So thanks. Thank you for signing up. Now invite friends and earn free gifts. Now this is another uh, page like using our somewhat of our default text, which is just invite friends and and earn rewards. However, right right now they just change it earn gifts. Really, that I mean that, that that default text is meant for for you to change it and 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 for you to direct it towards your actual audience. Because I mean we don't know who your audience is. We don't know who you're selling to. You should know exactly who your customer persona is, who you're selling to, and you want to direct your copy towards them because 
right now you're just saying in, invite friends. Okay, why don't you say like invite in, invite your fellow? Um, um, well, I don't know how how I would say, it, but like your fellow people who love uh, people who love to relax or like people who love to indulge themselves. You want to kind of like drive, drive like you want to push on those emotions because it's it's a certain audience which probably has many many like-minded friends and they're going to want to share with their like-minded friends and here once again you're saying share your your unique your unique link so you don't need to mention it on the previous page let's see your gifts real quick handmade pocket journal i would love to see some some images images are really going to help out but uh yeah i mean you're you're offering some, you're offering some great rewards to match your green green tea starter kit i would love to get that and uh yeah, I mean, some some images would really help uh, for people to visualize what kind of rewards they're going to be getting. And uh, they're asking, can we help you add an image under the form? Yeah, sure, we can. Just go ahead and send an email to support at kickofflabs.com. And uh, Josh and I are going to be giving our email addresses a little bit later on as well. So you can email us for any help directly. And yeah, Josh, do you have, do you have any additional feedback on the page? No, I, I think you I think you nailed it. Um, Great. I was going to move on to uh, Delore Denim. Uh, it is apparently Denim Day on <laughs> our Kickoff Labs landing pages. Right? It is, yeah. Exactly. Uh, it's <laughs> interesting that both of you not only submitted pages but are both attending the the chat. Um, maybe you should uh, sync up afterwards and uh, and compare plans or not, um, <laughs> whatever you're doing. But uh, all right, so uh, Delore Denim. Uh, it's good. It's a good good image and a good header page uh, for different reasons than the the other denim page that was there. Um, it does highlight the jeans. Uh, there's not a person. The text is highly readable. I don't have any issues with something not standing out in the in the copy. Uh, the issue I had was uh, denim can change the world uh, starting today. Still not 100 percent sure what that tagline uh, is. It denim shirts and jeans. Denim jeans. Uh, they can change the world. I, I guess my assumption is since you got the picture, it's mostly just jeans. Um, although as we learned in the other case, it could be shirts, it could be more um, in, in the location here. Uh, this image, the, the Delord uh, denim logo here, seems like it's just duplicate. So I've got this image up here, uh, and then you've got this other logo image here, but the text is so small, you can't really read it, and I wonder is it worth having it push the form down um, on the page, I would just cut this image. Um, uh, if you want, we could also help you. Like, put it. You could put it above here where it points out, but then it's still duplicating the text because um, you've already got the Delore denim text here on the page. Um, the incentive has already taken a lot of our advice. So sign up now and earn a chance to receive rewards such as free shipping, uh, premium packaging, and even a pair of free denim. So this is a great example of a sign-up page that is actually giving you a reason incentive to sign up today uh, for it, uh, for, for, the, for, the, for, for the product. So I really do like that on the page. Um, the sign-up button, um, I know you're trying to keep things simple with the same colors throughout, the same color scheme. I really feel like your eyes aren't drawn to this s section with the sign-up form here. So I feel like the button should be a, a different color, like denim blue or something. Uh, on this page, so it stands out a little bit more against this and against this and against this this color with the same the same color orange up here. And then the other thing is, I feel like down here uh, there's a bit of like this bullet list um, item going on, and it's hard to read. Um, and I feel like you could combine some of these to make it a little bit simpler, like certified organic fabrics made in the USA. Like that could be one sentence or made in the USA with sustainable sourcing, like certified organic fabrics made in the USA with sustainable sourcing. Um, this human rights violation, uh, free supply chain. Yeah, that's, I, so I get what you're saying. Like you're changing the world because of how you're, how you're doing it. I just feel like there's so many bullets here that I'm not going to take the time to read each one. Whereas if you made it flow in a little bit more like two or three sentences, it might actually be um, more readable uh, on the page and more, you know, easier to understand. Um, and charitable donations at the point of sale, um, that's fine. Uh, that, that, that's fine to say. Again, I just think it's a little bit too bullet point-ish uh, going through here. And so now let me sign up uh, here. Say Josh Kickoff So what happens? All right, and so now we get to that uh, that rewards page, um, and you teased the rewards before, um, 
you don't say thank you. This says don't forget to spread the news uh, for those that care about it. So the page doesn't say thank you. This text in this image compared to the other text and image is a little bit harder to read with the small white text because of the light and the white t-shirt. Um, so I would really think about um, making it easier to read uh, in this location. Um, and again, you tease the rewards before somebody signed up, but now you're back to just this default text of and earn amazing rewards. Um, well, how about and earn free denim? Like, <laughs> and earn free denim. Just something simpler that actually talks about what you can possibly, uh, what you can possibly earn uh, in the reward. Um, and then, uh, let's see, so share unique links with friends and family and for every friend that signups. Uh, why not just simplify this? For every friend that signs up with your unique links, you'll earn some great gifts and amazing rewards uh, from Delore Denim. Um, it could be a little bit shorter, this copy here, and fit in the, in the space a little bit better um, than, it's, uh, than, it's currently, than it's currently doing. Um, and the rewards are fairly easy to see. You've got free shipping, early bird discount, $45, premium packaging, and the last one being a free pair of denim jeans. Um, but yeah, I say thank you, earn free denim, shorten this sentence, um, and I think you've got something, uh, you've got something connected really, really well here. Um, so, uh, yeah, really ahead. quick, I just want to, uh, I just want to mention that, uh, I mean, their, their page is just so well thought out. I mean, I, I, I like the copy, uh, the actual, uh, changes that Josh has is great. Just my little pet peeve, which is, which is really stupid, but it's, but it might help, um, with your campaign as well. Uh, set the actual favicon because right now I'm just saying it looks like a little blank page. So within the settings of the of landing page designer of your thank you page and your and your sign up page, I would just set that favicon and make sure that that you have placed the Facebook, Twitter, share text, and your and your meta description and your title. So yeah, that's great, great detailed feedback. I was about to say I was uh, curious. I checked out the the Twitter share link while you were chatting um, and thinking about those uh, small little details. Just something to think about. Um, it's a it's a small thing. I tend not to like starting tweets with an at because it sort of looks like a reply. Um, and it's not gonna. And actually, just so you know, uh, it's it's not gonna be shared with with everybody. Yeah, it's only it's, gonna be shared with 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 Delore Denim or if people like click on the details in somebody's Twitter profile. So what I would do is I would cut this launching soon and just say, can't wait to get my my denim for free from uh, and then this company. So just a, a quick. You know, reorganization of this. Um, if you do it this way as the tweet, um, it looks a lot more. Um, it, it, it looks a lot better. You broadcast. You're not saying coming soon. Um, you're making it sound a lot more personable for the person. Um, and then they're also doing the the mention, which should get people to look at your Twitter account um, here on the page. So just something to think about. You guys click the sharing links. Make sure the the text, the image is all what you want to see. And then just kind of go through the whole flow yourself. Like if somebody shares on Twitter, what does it look like on the timeline um, when somebody shares? What is it? What does that page look like? What is the, you know, this uh, this, this the default copy look like here in this location for people? Um, does it show up? Like, like I said, just think about those things going through it. Uh, and that was good feedback about the favicon. We haven't talked about that. Um, you see the odorless denim has this OD right here uh, in the favicon. Um, and then uh, their, their contest page says contest. This is just says referral. Um, you should probably think about that, that the page channel, like Izzy said. So, um, Izzy, is there somebody else who's uh, submitted a page to the uh, the chat at this time? Actually, nobody else has submitted the uh, another page. So, if you're in the chat, um, speak up now because we're just about winding down. I've already mentioned in the chat, so just make sure to place your URL. And I well, I just wanted to quickly mention if if anybody in the chat does insist on 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 using an an at before like an an at name, just place a period before, and this will actually make sure that you share it with everybody. Just just a quick little strategy because if you because if this because if it starts with an at inside of any kind of Twitter sharing, it's it's only going to be shared with your followers. So only people that are following you will will actually see it. So. So yeah, we have plenty of other pages to go through, yeah. or we talk a little bit more of, of some cool features that we've been working on. Oh, okay, check it out. So we have Unus who actually submitted a page. Of course, time permits, Unus, of course. So Josh, you want me to take a look at this page? Yeah, or you, you want to go ahead and that page. I've got another one lined up ready. All righty, so Unus, the world is waiting. Share every awesome thing you see. Okay, Unus, 
I, I don't know what the world is waiting for, and I don't know how I'm going to share everything that I see. But okay, broadcast videos or photos to the world or just your friends. Okay, uh, super easy to share. I I I like this, but it's not really telling me like like what what the actual product is or what the service is. Is it a mobile app? Is, is it a web app? I think you should really be telling uh, people what to expect uh, because nowadays, I mean, you could get all these services from from web apps. So, I mean, from from mobile apps. So, what's, what's the difference going to be? Okay, so don't clog memory on your phone. Yes, it is a mobile app then. Tell people that it's a mobile app. Show some little logos here. Uh, you know, share a you put a put a coming soon to to the app store or or coming soon to android just letting people know because actually right here you you know you're saying we're going live soon which which, which really you know when you're using the coming soon to the app store has has a lot more importance like like it seems a lot more tangible to 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 people's like okay well it's an app that i'm going to be able to download very soon but when you're telling people we're going live soon it's like okay well there's nothing for me to you know there's nothing for me to, to, to expect at this time. Uh, get updates and an opportunity for early access. I would focus really on the on the incentive uh, for the early access. I mean, what's the incentive for the early access? Do you get you know do you get to be a beta tester, which which could be an incentive. I mean, is is it's not it's not the greatest incentive, but it could be. Uh, are they going to be a beta tester? Are they going to be uh, you know uh, are are you going to mention them as 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 part of the beta team? Just you know, I would focus on. Are driving people uh, towards the incentive, whether that's the opportunity for for early access or or something. And something that kind of bugs me too is like, how does this background image relate to your app? It's it's a cute little chipmunk, and he's looking like like at the Grand Canyon or something. But how does it relate to your app? I mean, I would I would honestly try to A/B test another image, which is somewhat mo more just just like a just like a. A, a, a beautiful image because you're actually already using a really nice image, but this chipmunk just kind of like throws me off for a bit because because it doesn't really relate to the service. If it was a person holding like a mobile phone, taking you know taking like like a like a a movie of a of a of a mountain or 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 of this exact canon, it would make a lot more sense to to people arriving on the page. It's like okay, so this is a page for a mobile app because when I first arrived, it's like okay, it seems like a page for animals or something. So yeah. Let's let's sign up real quick. I don't love the call to action. It should be a little bit more related to the service, but let's see. I mean, let's go. It doesn't work that great. And um, and you're seeing how how the text just becomes a little bit hard to read. You have white text here, um, and there's no incentive for priority access. Just just inviting friends. Kind of think about that. I mean, what what kind of value could you provide your, your customers now? Whether it's some kind of uh, free download or 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 a fr like a PDF, some kind of ebook, like uh, or or like like the top five ways for getting awesome images from your mobile phone, just some some kind of free free value, I, I think can actually probably help you as well. So, Josh, you have any additional feedback? Nope. I was gonna move into the lightning round and get through a bunch of pages. Let's really do fast. it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so these are some pages. Uh, as far as I know, the people are not on the chat. If they are, um, I'm going to do their pages really quickly and kind of call out the top, uh, the top couple things that stood out to me. Um, so impeccable. Dot dot um, I I hate generally really do not like video backgrounds, but this one is super subtle. Um, it's not too distracting, and it's getting uh, and it le and it's, leaves the copy very readable. So I love that. I hate that I have no idea. I've read the entire copy. I've read this page twice. I don't know what you're doing. It's something to do with high tech fabrics. It doesn't say that anywhere. It doesn't say what's in it. I thought it was for a video game at first because of the way that all this three dimensional things were, were going around. Um, go back to the drawing board and the copy, show it to five people and see if they understand what it's about. Because chances are I'll bet zero of five people that don't work for your company understand what this page is about. Um, this page has absolutely no clear call to action near the top of the page. This, there's this text, discover and share things, new community, find inspiration. All the way down here, this subtle little button, create an account. Terrible. Um, and then I click here and create an account. It doesn't say, you know, log in with Twitter, log in with Facebook. It's just, it's think through your flow uh, on the page. Like make the, 
call to action, a big giant button. When they click it, be really clear of the headline on that modal that says what they're supposed to do. Um, uh, this page, Skewland. Skewland is coming. Really? Okay. Uh, redeeming your look since right now. Again, I think we've reviewed this page in the past, and I think we gave some feedback about being more specific about the brand. Um, I'm still not seeing it. I don't see what it is. I don't see, know what this product is. If I cut the image out especially, I don't know what Skewland is. I don't know what you're offering. I don't know why I should sign up. Scrubbed, uh, children's subscription box. Have fun, discover products, better health. Okay, I'm not sure why it's better health. I'm not sure why Scrubbed applies as a name for a children's subscription box. I don't know if I'm getting health products or if I'm getting... Um, and again, I haven't read the, the subtext, but the main headline should explain to me what I'm getting out of these pages. Um, I don't know if it's you know toys. I don't know if it's bath products. Let me read a little bit more. Make getting clean fun and educational. Okay, maybe bath products. Curate the child children's best products so you don't have to. Okay, best products for what? Um, better health. I, yeah, again, I don't know what this page is about. Um, okay, here you finally get to it. The best assortment of children's bath and hygiene products delivered to you every month. Um, that should be somewhere up here. This copy, see if Ooh, that's you can see it floating yeah. on the page. That's your headline up here. Um, don't make people go all the way through and read this text, which doesn't describe what your product does in here. It's great that you spent the time and you made this image. It's just not helping. Um, this page is screaming at me, and I don't know why. Stop screaming at people on the internet. It just makes me want to close your page. Um, that's really what I have for this page. Uh, is there anybody else in the chat that submitted a page they want us to look at? Um, that was my, my lightning round rendition for today. All right, I don't see, uh, I don't see that anybody else has submitted a page to the chat. Let me see. Uh, oh, Kevin did. Yeah, I gave you some feedback. I don't know what the page is about, Kevin. I'm sorry. It's uh, I read all the copy on the page. I read it while Izzy was doing it. And I don't know. Didn't know what it was about. That's the biggest thing. Um, okay, so a couple more. Uh, Unis uh, here. Let's see. Unis page over here. Uh, didn't you? Did you do that, Izzy? You yes, did that. We one. did that one. Uh, yeah, have that's, you done I was, that's where I was looking at the uh, the lightning round pages. Um, and what we, about we arts? Didn't, we didn't do the free workshop, okay? Um, parts page over here. Um, you know, I always think when I look at your pages that for something that's like Tau and you've got this Eastern thing, the pages don't feel, I feel like you're trying to do too much. Like, why do you need this rocket ship here in the, in the image? Why not just this text centered um, as a lot cleaner? Um, I feel like you've got about twice as much copy here as you probably need. Um, before you get to the, the call to action, which is down here. Um, your call to action doesn't align with anything about what you're doing, like learn social selling, get, you know, get a tune-up, or you know, sign up for you know, the, the, the workshop. The call to action should really match, uh, the, the button call to action is what I'm talking about specifically, should really match um, some part of the copy up here. Um, this is an interesting tagline. Social selling is less about technology and more about being human. Um, I would get to the point of what it is first. I would lead with we're hosting four marketing strategy web websites, um, then lower tech social selling. This, this sort of explains why you should sign up. Um, made free for you, well, I'd hope so, because you're not asking me to pay for anything, so maybe that's redundant uh, copy. Um, and I feel like there's, you know, there's one, two, three, there's three different types of font here. Um, get get in line with the sizes. I would simply just do more just the white text. It's more readable. It's not orange, um, and just make it simply the the white text here. The only thing on, that should be orange maybe on the page is your logo. That's Art Jones, and maybe this call to action button uh, instead of the white text. And there's my rocket ship. I don't know what it is again. Uh, you can set the cover image on videos, and so I would do that. I would set the cover image of a video to entice people to play the video. I thought earlier today we saw that the, the company with handbags had a great cover image that enticed you to click play on the video. Um, yeah, that's that's my feedback here on, on this page uh, for, for today. Um, oh, launch.findfishapp. Quick look at that one again. 
All right, launch.findfishapp.com. Instant fish identification. I love it. It's much clearer than it was before. Maybe that was in there before, and now I don't see it. Now I see it. Take a picture, instantly identify your catch, and learn local fishing res regulations results in seconds. That's great. I love it. Um, incentive, sign up now and free early access to our private beta. Um, good incentive about the best you can do with an app um, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a free app like this for, for folks. Um, the things that are calling, the, 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 um, the images of the app that are scrolling through um, make sense. It really explains it. I love the changes here to this page. Um, it's way better than it, than it was before um, when we looked at it. If I click Get Early Access, let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see, you're on the list. Sure, again, you didn't personalize this. Did a great job with the front. Didn't personalize this, you're on the list text, share your link and influence others. Um, think about some reward. If somebody gets 10, 15 people signed up, would you do something for them? Um, you know, it, it could be just, you know, a free, you know, a coupon code at a fishing store online, a, e a fishing e-commerce site. It could be, you know, $10 to spend somewhere. Like, there's, even though you're doing a, a B2C thing, there's things you can do to reward that top 1% of people that wouldn't cost you too much in the, in the marketing to get people to sign up and you could send people to a dedicated thank you page. Um, all right, that is all the time we have uh, today. Yep, Jason is just missing the viral thank you page. I agree. Um, so again, uh, I'm Josh. I'm Josh at kickofflabs.com. Izzy is Izzy at kickofflabs.com. You can always ask questions to support at kickofflabs.com as well. Uh, we are Kickoff Labs, the quick and easy way to get new customers with viral campaigns. We make it super simple to publish landing pages through our platform or connect to any other platform's landing pages. Uh, you can run A-B tests, collect leads uh, through our service, and most importantly, you can generate referrals with referral marketing, as you've seen several times on this webinar with some of our customers today. So. Uh, we have people that run straight out competitions. We have people that do launches. We have people that give away eBooks. We have people that set up webinar sign up pages. You've seen so all sorts of pages. Uh, set up as many landing pages you want. You'll get a ton of great data. Um, you can add team members to the page. You can set up automatic email replies. Um, lots of new features coming soon for you guys. Lots of new themes coming soon. Um, just uh, stay tuned and uh, you know, open those emails when you get them and see what, uh, see what we're up to. If you have any feedback about how today went, feel free to send that too. Um, post it in the chat. I'll be hanging out online for, uh, for a few more minutes after, after this webinar ends. Thanks, everyone, and uh, have a great rest of your week.